Well, hello there. Well, it's a bit dark, ain't it? I can't see a thing. Oh, yeah. What's that button do? Which button, mate? The blue one. Push it. That one? Yeah, yeah, push it. Hello. Welcome to Extra Credit on the Trinity. If someone asked you to describe the Trinity, do you think you would be able to? What is the Trinity? Well, simply put, the Trinity is God in himself, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Three divine persons sharing the same divine essence, co-eternal, co-equal, sharing mutual love in infinity. As Christians, we call the mystery of the Holy Trinity the central mystery of our faith. In fact, if you turn to the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 232, it reads, Christians are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Before receiving the sacrament, they respond to a three-part question. When asked to confess the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, I do. The faith of all Christians rests on the Trinity. Point one, you cannot be a Christian if you not, do not confess the Trinity. Paragraph 233, Christians are baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, not in their names. For there is only one God, the Almighty Father, his only Son and the Holy Spirit, the most holy Trinity. So we baptize in the single name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit because we believe in one God, credo in unum Deo, not in their names, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The mystery of the Holy Trinity, as I've already said, is the central mystery of Christian faith and life. It is the mystery of God in himself. It is therefore the source of all the other mysteries of faith, the light that enlightens them. So imagine if you could the sun that's the other mysteries of the faith. And then imagine a source greater and more super essential than the sun that enlightens the sun itself. That is something akin to the mystery of the Holy Trinity. Paragraph 234 continues, it is the most fundamental and essential teaching in the hierarchy of the truths of faith. I repeat, the teaching, the doctrine of the most holy trinity is the most fundamental an essential teaching in the hierarchy of the truths of faith. So the truths of the faith are placed in a hierarchy, the crown of which is the mystery of the Godhead, the mystery of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God, the Most Holy Trinity. If you remove that, or if you have an improper understanding of the Holy Trinity, you will corrupt or completely destroy the remainder of the hierarchy. That's why we say it is the central mystery. It is the center and it is the crown because all of our faith rests upon it. Before ending, I'll introduce one other topic. When we speak about the Holy Trinity, we must distinguish between God as he is in himself, his inner life, which we call theology, or as in paragraph 236 in the Catechism introduces, theologia. Then there is God as he relates to us, as he relates to creatures. We call this economy, or in Greek, oikonomia. Theology refers to the mystery of God's inmost life within the Blessed Trinity, and economy to all the works by which God reveals himself and communicates his life. Through the oikonomia, the theologia is revealed to us. But conversely, the theologia illuminates the whole oikonomia. God's works reveal who he is in himself. The mystery of his inmost being enlightens our understanding of all his works. So it is, analogously, among human persons. A person discloses himself in his actions, and the better we know a person, the better we understand his actions. So I'm gonna leave off there for today, introducing the Trinity. What is the Trinity? Again, we believe in one God, credo in unum deum. God the Father Almighty, his only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. 
One God in three divine persons, not three gods. One God in three divine persons, one divine essence. The Holy Trinity is the central mystery of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.